Etiquette Master masterclass in the residence of the Ambassador of the Netherlands, Fashion Secrets and Issues of Men's and Women's Equality. I think we are, men, women are definitely equal, but we are not the same. Today in the program, Touch Points. She easily holds social and charity events. In her native town, The Hague, Odilia de Renitz is considered to be an expert in refined manners. Moreover, lately she has been lecturing etiquette at the Mandeville Academy. In Ukraine, Odilia is famous in the diplomatic community as the wife of the current ambassador of the Netherlands to Ukraine. I'm 18 years abroad. And this is the last uh, diplomatic uh, posting of my husband. And so, so I'm preparing a little bit for returning home uh, in a couple of years. Living here in Kiev, how uh, totally different is from living in my home country, that is a much bigger city, there are much more challenges. But also there is this um, spectacular restaurants and bars like New York, like Paris. The crucial aspects of diplomatic missions are organization and holding receptions. Odilia feels comfortable in any company. She believes that proficiency in etiquette is the key to success. It makes a life much more easy if you know your, your etiquettes. And why? Because it's, it's not a strict rule. You can concentrate on, on subject. It's so important that people, uh, yeah, that people uh, talk with each other and don't think, oh my God, now is the fish is being served. How am I going to, to eat this, you know? The wife of the ambassador of the Netherlands held a small masterclass for our production team. The first thing um, what you have to do is you have to put your phone off and put it away. What you see here is a normally three-course dinner. We start, let's say, uh, with a soup as a first entree. And then we have, of course, it's very easy, it's at the right side. That is this um, level. You see the little plate here. This is for the bread and that's always at the left side. What you never do because you are not breakfast at home. So if you have the bread, you don't butter it totally. You just break a little bit of bread and the bread, the piece of bread you have, you put a little bit butter on it and you can eat it. To avoid embarrassment in social circles, you should hold a glass of wine by its stem. When finishing a meal, you should put the silverware on the plate at 20 past 3, so that the host will understand that the next course of the meal can be served, says Odilia. Then um, we have here the, uh, the second uh, first course, that can be a salad with shrimps or it can be um, uh, a mozzarella with, with, uh, with tomato, mm -hmm. it can be anything. So you take them always from outside in. That is that you have to keep in mind. Then the main course that will be meat or fish or whatever. And then you only have here the knife and the fork. The bigger ones, they, they, these are bigger. Then you know that you, um, that you have to use. There's nothing else you can use, so mm -hmm. that's okay. During her career, Odilia often led clubs of ambassadors, wives and charity committees. I think that is one of the, the main issues, what I did through the 18 years I was abroad. Uh, my uh, background is public relations and event management. I always had in mind if I, we, slash we, can change one life for the better, then you're lucky. And don't think about changing a village, because it's not possible, it's macro. You know, I tell people, Look around you, where can you help, what can you do? 
Odilia tries to embody her motto in various countries, from Vietnam to Luxembourg. Doors open, and why? Because I am the wife of the ambassador. In the Ukraine, yesterday evening, we were for um, we had a reception for a, a Dutch firm, and uh, they have this charity foundation. What is and it's called Tulle's uh, Sun, Tulip uh, Sunflower. Had uh, the, the Dutch and the and the Ukraine uh, specific uh, uh, flowers. They have all kind of orphanages, child, abused children, abandoned children, but also abused women. Uh, there are so many projects you can support. But now is coming this Svahoto uh, Mikolaika, the, the St. Nikolaus is coming here in, on 19 of December. And now what they are doing is that they say, make a wish for every 500 people, they can write down a little gift they want to, to have. And, and we are providing this, so the envelopes, um, I will have one or two or three or four or five envelopes, I will buy the item what is in it. You know, it's not about charity, but it's much more than that, give them hope, give them um, give them a reason that they want to fight for their for a better future. Dutch people are very open, simple and free by their nature. Odilia believes that Ukrainians have the same characteristics. Expat people in the Netherlands uh, will tell you if you ask what how, how do you think about the Dutch people that they say they are very kind, always very kind and open and uh, and they try to help you. But I would say the same for the Ukraine people. When I'm lost on the road, oh my God, I don't know where I am and I have an appointment. Uh, and then I just asked someone, a nice boy, and I said, oh, please help me out. He didn't understand me, but immediately he went to the Google Maps and he said, well, here it is and follow me. And he brought me to this address of Bosnia. You couldn't find it if you didn't know it. That is the kindness of uh, really of the Ukraine people. They are very, very open-minded. The love of flowers and nature is the second attribute that connects our two nations. What we definitely had in common is uh, the love for the flowers. You see many people who are buying it Unfortunately, it's much more expensive here than it is in the Netherlands. The love for this beautiful, for so many, the tulips for example, they are very fond of tulips. You have the fields of sunflowers here like, like France, beautiful. People in the Netherlands choose to spend their weekends at movie theaters and shopping malls while Ukrainians would more likely prefer a trip to a park or forest, Odilia believes. What I love about the Ukrainian people is that they always barbecue you the shasliki and they always want to do it in a forest or near the Dnieper. And then they eat the shasliki and it's home, it's a homely atmosphere, it's family, it's love, there is so much in it. When uh, autumn is um, uh, set, uh, setting in, that they go to the, to the, to the forest and again they, they, they have the autumn leaves and then they make this wreath of uh, autumn leaves, you know, and that is so, it is so simple, but you see that it's so, they have a very good day. And then you have to cook and you have to call and you have to check your emails and the baby is crying. Now and then I think, oh my God. Once Adelia Duranitz combined a successful career in public relations and bringing up her daughter, today she gladly shares her secrets with viewers of our program. The challenges is to, to balance your life. And I think that females, women, they have to balance it much more because we are multitaskers so we can do everything we can do a dinner we can breastfeed we can call we can do the whatsapp we can do it all together 
If you see men, they are really, I see the, here the camera men looking at me, but okay. They only can focus on one thing and then there is another subject. And that is the difference. So I think we are, men, women are definitely equal, but we are not the same. And here I find that women are very active, working in high positions. Sometimes work too hard, I think, with two jobs, because then they can afford a little bit more. Ukrainian women, I think they are very active. The good thing about it is that family life here. It's, it, I, I find it fantastic. Dutch women often have only a three-month maternity leave. So after giving birth to a child, they return to part-time work. Odilia believes that the fact that women have three years of maternity to live in Ukraine has a very positive impact on the growth and development of their child. I think that it is much too soon, that it's so important that there is a, that, that there is a bonding between the baby and, and the father or the mother. Odilia considers the possibility to travel to be the best bonus of living a diplomatic life. She and her husband visited several most popular tourist destinations during a year of residence in Ukraine. Well, I love to travel, that's true. And you meet other cultures, uh, you, you, you meet interesting people, you, you see different landscapes, you see different, uh, different cities. So um, I went with my husband to Odessa and it was right, it was uh, amazing. It's a city, like we have a little bit Maastricht in the, in the south uh, part of the Netherlands. And I think Odessa with 120 nationalities uh, living there all together in peace. So I think multicultural life then there it's possible. They are living there and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. The atmosphere there with this long, long history. And uh, so that I like very much. Moreover, the visit to Lviv inspired Odilia to write a short story. I wrote this um, uh, little uh, story about Lviv, that there was one person, he was very old, in his 90s, and he said, I always lived in one house here, but I lived, I never traveled, but I lived in five countries, and it was, of course, the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, then it went to Soviet Union, then it went Poland, then it went uh, Lithuanian, and then it was the Ukraine, so it's five countries. Wow! That was, yeah, I travel uh, and, and, and I still want to go to the mountains here, of course, so we're planning to do this in when the snow is uh, here. Odilia sticks to her own style in everything that she does in life, from her outer appearance to always having a positive attitude and being friendly towards other people. If you say, what is your style, then I say it's the Odilia style, because I, I'm not following fashion like this. I'm very fashionable, but I don't follow it as that I say, oh my God, I have to, I need this. Chanel had a very uh, nice saying, that it's not about um, the appearance, it's about your character. It's not about the money, it's about the class. And I think that's so true. It is if you stay with yourself and, and, and be the person you want to be, 